Good evening to you, and after the brilliance of Qatar and the utter stupidity of Japan, we move to Europe for round three of season four of Next Gen by JL. We touch down in Styria at the Red Bull Ring for the Austrian Grand Prix. My name is Mr. Storm, and I'm joined in the commentary box by a man who's so literal he'd be perfect to be a rally co-driver. And here is a, uh, a small demonstration. Uh, Sammy, mate, you need to turn the car left so he can stay on the course. And uh, <laughs> all right, mate, medium left there. Don't, up, pretend, don't end up breaking the car. Carol Bean. You can get a laugh out of that one. If you don't, then uh, yeah, that's very Yay. sad. Yay. Uh, it is the one, the only, the magnificent Ben Buxton, who's back after suffering a small accident that apparently damaged him more than it did his car in the last few weeks. How are you, mate? Uh, a little stiff around my neck, but enough to compensate. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and um, I, I just forgot to say that um, Timothy is here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I still exist somehow. Yeah, hello Tim, how are you? Hello, <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> you have no idea. You have no idea how long we deliberated on how we were going to introduce the show tonight, but I think we did it quite well indeed, apart from maybe the, the Samir joke. Anyway, um, good so, evening to you all. Hope you're all well. Um, it's Friday night, as you would probably expect, and after two weeks of pretty good racing, marred slightly by what happened at the end of the race in Japan last week, we're back round three at the Austrian Grand Prix. We're going to do a small rundown of what happened in Suzuka last week before we take a look at the small bit of turbulence that I suppose is happening at Ducati before we have a look forward to tonight's race in Austria and then of course Storm's Grid will the third iteration in this league but Tim give us a small summary of what happened last week in Japan uh, well great drive Bottas drove away suicide attack basically suicidal attack on other cars Person's is that it? Yeah. Oh, and safety car drama. Yeah. Yeah, just a regular race in this league. Of course, Ben wasn't here, but Ben, was that very helpful to get you up and running for this weekend? Yes. Absolutely fantastic. That's that's absolutely brilliant. Right, uh, that was a very short rundown of what happened in Japan last Friday night, but to put it into a little bit more context and to... Uh, I suppose give it a bit more detail. Chaos, drama, more chaos, safety car chaos, uh, chaos in, including suicide bombers and um, how do I how do I put suicide this? And auto motion. Yeah, well, we can phrase it like that. We can give it a little bit of leeway, I think, because well, what happened in the last two laps was well, it, well, it technically was a suicide dive bomb. So yeah, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Um, look, Japan, at the most part, was an absolutely fantastic race. I think we can all agree on that. But how do we stop the events from the last two laps ever happening again, Tim? Uh, don't do shit things. Works every time. <laughs> yeah, that works, that works. Don't crash into uh, then... Don't get pissed, I don't know. Yeah, Ben, uh, you do a, a driver's briefing. Uh, what would you say to your drivers had they been involved in the chaos last week? Get out. No, I'm not talking about had they done the uh, the, the nefarious acts, but if they were on the receiving end, uh, how would you talk to them? Uh, go on, then. Make sure you have clips so that we can talk absolute utter bullshit to the FIA. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much, Ben. That's uh, obviously fantastic insight from you now last week uh, we reported on a little bit of praise we got from uh, one of the drivers um on the absolutely fantastic job that we apparently did in the first race of the season and i and i do congratulate both ben and tim for partnering me so far this season because without you i'd, I'd be lost i think is that fair to say would i would i be lost probably yeah However, it has come to light uh, today, in fact, that some people are not happy with the way that the commentary is done. And I have to say to you, that's, well, that's your opinion. I, I honestly Good. couldn't care less what you know. <laughs> I couldn't give a flying... Yeah, I'm not going to finish that, but I couldn't give... Uh, I couldn't give a shit, basically. And look, if you want to complain, fine, do that. But if you don't like the way we run things around here, don't watch. It's as simple as that. Moving swiftly on, we have had a few bits of breaking news in the week relating to team changes, 
and all of that lovely stuff. But Tim, could you just give us a small rundown on what the major breaking news in the last week has been? Ducati will be taken over by another owner of the Italian Grand Prix and then will be rebranded to Porsche for season five. <laughs> then we have the Yas Heat who will be for sale next season. So they will get a new owner ne somewhere next season and potentially rebrand as well. Uh, Always fun. Uh, just give us a little bit more information on uh, why this might have happened. Well, due to, probably due to the game change. I mean, new game, not everyone might buy it, not, not everyone might enjoy creating liveries with the new game or letting their drivers create the liveries because they want to run them to themselves. So perhaps that could be the issue. So yeah, uh, just to clarify that Yaz Heat will be uh, up for sale after the end of season four. So six more races for that outfit before they are bought and potentially rebranded, as Tim said. And uh, Martin will leave Ducati as team owner after the Italian Grand Prix, and the team will obviously be taken over by AMX F1 after that race. And as you said, Ducati will become the Porsche Cyber F1 team in season five. So minor team changes, I suppose, but it does uh, keep the freshness of this league, wouldn't you say, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to add. Like, <laughs> just said, yeah. Uh, well, other than the team changes, of course, we'll have uh, 10 teams back on the grid instead of 11 next season. So, in potentially, yes, it could be just a team totally leaving the grid. What do you think? Is that likely, Tim? Uh, I don't know. I think there are like other teams like AY, Evian, who are also potentially about to leave. But. Loads of team, or maybe evil, either way it'd be sold. sold. So yeah, we'll see what team eventually will be gone. If they don't get a buyer, they'll be likely be the team that will be removed. Thanks very much, Tim. Right, let's take a look at who will most likely be contesting the race tonight. Uh, it says on the thing that we have 17 drivers down to the race tonight. That, in fact is fake uh fake news and that in fact is a lie because sam rose being the uh ever incredible lad that he is has decided that he doesn't have enough bitcoin to afford his team's livery tonight he will be driving tonight well yeah. fantastic news special livery yeah. As the, so we will have um, above yeah. we'll have a throwback livery to the livery of season one that's that's great news so Scrap that. We will not have 16 drivers. We should probably have 17. The two tentative drivers are uh, AFY Evian and Oxygrav, which will put the grid up to 19. And then with the three dry, uh, the three commentators, sorry, of myself, Tim and Ben, we will have a locked out lobby tonight, which is always fun. It's a lot of fun always indeed. Hello to Razout, who is the only person listening to us on stage at the moment. If you're watching on YouTube, hello everyone. Say hello everyone. I don't think anyone will is actually gonna say hello. I'm not too sure. No, no, I'm talking to you two. Oh, you should have made that clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a small oversight on my behalf, but still. You, 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 you just... took a breath. You took a breath between say hello, everyone. So, <laughs> it, it, so I didn't realize you were addressing us. I thought you were addressing the audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's a small mistake on my. Where you take a breath is important, my guy. Okay, yeah. okay let, let, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Say hello, Ben. Hello, everyone. Say hello, Tim. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Perfect, right. The, that's that's that dealt with. Right, um, before we do our look ahead to the Austrian Grand Prix, we will take a look at the championship standings. And after the dramatic race, last time out, Bottas leads the world championship hello. standings by 24 points from Bath Destroyer. In the PHM car, Yasko Kirill is in third. In the Ducati of Oscar, Marcus and Litwa. Rounding out the top six, Nikon is in seventh. Tisley in eighth, Zomzed in ninth, Super Supider. Rounds out the top ten in, well, tenth. Uh, currently, 14 drivers have scored points. And if you were to look at the championship standings, you would like to see that Flexi has been disqualified from the World Championship. Taking a look at the Constructors' chat standings is very close at the moment. Between Chevrolet and PHM, Chevrolet lead by a point after winning last time at PHM on 46 points. Europol 
are a slender, I suppose, 17 points behind Chevrolet with RUF T-Mobile, six points ahead of Ducati in fourth. Yaz Heat are in sixth, AFI Evian in seventh, Ultratech above, and Yusk Fierce, the teams rounding out the standings with points. Toms are the only team who will get to score a well-constructed championship point. All right, then let's move on then to our uh, race preview for the Austrian Grand Prix. Uh, Tim, we'll start with you. What does it take to win around this track? Uh, a lot of pace and, well, it's a relatively short track, so it's get around traffic well and get around the cars who are staying out longer than you get around them pretty well because, uh, well, it's probably, you'll have some traffic here and there, whether it's cars that are being laps or whether it's cars are on older tires than you are. You'll stumble upon cars here, guaranteed. Ben, what's your opinion on this? Uh, I agree with Tim, but you've also got to keep a cool head, like in every, any race, but especially around Austria, because although it's hard to hit the walls on the outside, because that's so short, it doesn't take long for everything to go by. And, once, and when that happens, you don't know what's coming up next. And if you get impatient... You might send it up the inside of someone when they, you don't need to cause a collision, and then you've dropped down a ton of places because everyone's so close together out throughout the track. Yep, yeah, that's that's perfect. Uh, next question, relatively straightforward. Who's winning tonight, Ben? You go first. Uh, the driver who crosses the line first. You, if you knew that was coming. Yeah, obviously. But like as I said in Qatar, we need names. We need more intricate details. Well, I don't know what you expected from Ben Buxton, mate. Well, didn't you not give us the race prediction? Ben it was going to win the guitar. You said, you, remember, my prediction in Qatar was literally I shut my eyes, pointed at my screen, and then just read out a random name. I was about to say that. So, will you do that this weekend, or? Uh, hang on, give me, give me a moment. You okay. Can, you, can, you can ask Tim whilst you're waiting. Yeah, yeah. I was going to go to that, Tim. What do you think? Uh, I think the our championship leader both us will grab another win. Very solid. Look, uh, Tim, in the last minute, actually, has uh, given us our weather report for the Austrian Grand Prix. It's currently 14 degrees in Spielberg, partly cloudy, a high of 21 degrees and a low of 6 degrees. And during the night, it's going to be relatively peaceful, which is always nice for the residents the race of Spielberg. The will be within the, in the night, though, obviously. Mm. All right, I had to point twice to get my prediction because I missed the first time. <laughs> the first time, I pre my prediction was that hashtag Twitter was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? The second time, and my actual prediction is Marcus. Marcus. Oh, that's Marcus. Choice. Marcus from Detroit become human. I mean, it's not like he's not achieved anything in the league, so he's he's a chance have of a shot. Don't have it for sure. He was, he was able to get in the Hall of Fame. That's very true. So. I mean, if we take a look at. I'm, I'm grabbing up the stats as we speak. Marcus, I think he never won a race. No, he never won a race, but he has been stood on the podiums multiple. Po he, 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 six times on the podium already this over the last uh, three seasons. Well, Tim is backing Bottas, Ben is backing Marcus, if you have only just joined us. And you didn't know that. Next up, we are going to move on to the award that we didn't give out last weekend due to time constraints. But this is our Ben Buxton Shop Market Shop of the Week Award, powered by AWS for the Japanese Grand Prix. You got ben. it wrong. <laughs> what? You got it wrong. I said how you sent it to me. You said it wrong. I just heard you say it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I know that, but I said it how you sent it to me. What? <laughs> That's not it, my fault. No, nah, I. You you said it wrong. It is the Ben Buxton Supermarket Shopper of the Week, powered uh, award, powered by AWS. <laughs> why did you make? Why did you send it a shop market then? Because I don't care. <laughs> right, we'll try that again then. This is the Ben Buxton Supermarket Shop of the Week Award, powered by AWS for the Japanese Grand Prix. Ben, please take it away. Uh, it was... Hang on, who was it again? Got it, <laughs> uh, 
it was Liberty. Yes, that's right. And why did Liberty lose? Uh, for for the the only reason you'll be picked as supermarket chopper is based on your fastest lap during the race, uh, being the slowest out of the field. And Liberty was able to achieve a one minute thirty five five, which uh, won the reward. A shopping cart will be delivered to your house shop. Would you be an avid viewer of Supermarket Sweep? Yes, if they used cars. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, perfect, right, moving swiftly along. It's just gone 8.15 in the UK, and as you may be able to tell, we've slightly run out of content. Slightly. Yeah, slightly. So, uh, Tim, I'm going to pass the torch on to you, and you're going to waffle for a few minutes before Storm Gridwalk starts. Well, am I going to waffle? Okay, I'm currently able to waffle for a couple of minutes. I don't know about what. Ben, do you know about what I should waffle? Uh, literally just talk for ages. <laughs> well, uh, Jesus, I don't know. I'm having a fight with YouTube as we speak, so. I have an idea. I would take on your fight with YouTube. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Well, look, look, look. YouTube decided to not change the thumbnail of this video, so the thumbnail still says round two. Japanese Grand Prix. Fantastic. Not really fantastic. But Love yeah, it. Move. We move. I have uh, a statement for you. And the statement is that, guys, did you know that an RBMK reactor doesn't explode? Uh, what? Did you know, know that? Is. I don't even know what it is. Well, I have some absolutely brilliant news for you. You uh, need to Google uh, April 26th, 1986, and you'll get all your answers about RBMK reactors. Nice. Nah, I'm fine. But I've got a random fact for you. Go on. Did you know that being alive is 100% fatal? Damn. Just like how having a That's brain is a lead cause of brain, brain cancer. <laughs> yeah, that is... Um... Which makes half our drivers safe from it. This is the wackiest commentary um, box I've ever been in in my entire life, but I love it a bit. Oh. Thank you, guys. This is why it's so good. It's... Yeah. The because we're we run... represent the driver ability. <laughs> yeah. I love how whenever we run out of content, we talk about Tim's struggles with YouTube. Um, facts about Chernobyl and Ben doing Ben things and making me laugh. I'm not sure if you made Tim laugh, but you made me laugh. Tim's died. Well, yep, Tim is deceased. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm gonna invite... He's people. lost his fight with YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna invite people and shit, you know? They took away his freedom of speech. Yeah, they took away his life. He has been I was demonetized going to say, in I, real I life. <laughs> he, he got demonetized in real life. Yeah. I was going to say they took away his living privileges, but I, ju I just figured they took away his life would be better. Yeah, they, they did take away my life, so... Right, Tim's made from the lobby. Gridwalk is, uh, well, on the way, but we've only got one person to talk to at the moment, so spread the word. Get the people talking. Get the people talking to us, specifically. And we will all have great fun, hopefully. Idiot. Guys, did you know that um, every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes? No, no that's a shocker. I did not. Together, we can stop this. I'm Spread not, the word. Okay. How, how, okay. how do you want to stop that? Um, um, physics. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I've, just, I've just crunched the numbers on the computer, and the computer says no. That was perfect. <laughs> Computer says no. Nah. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Last week, uh, Tim and I, uh, before qualifying started, we did the uh, the famous drivers start your engines line. Uh, ben, would you be willing to do that with us this weekend? Uh, it depends if it says no. Oh, yeah. oh, ben is in the lobby, it says at least. 
Please invite me, some of you. Computer says yes. <laughs> Hang on, let me, let me check. Okay. Computer says yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm online, so. You're online. And yet I can't find you. Computer says no. EA says no. Computer says no. no. You, you're listening I mean, for me. You're offline, so I can send you an invite, but it probably won't arrive. I will restart my game if that's the case. I don't know why that is, but <laughs> thank I, the big. I, I, I know why. I know why. One. Computer says no. <laughs> Oh god, I haven't laughed this much since Sam Rose's mother got violated in TRL. You're not getting the context behind that, don't worry. Tim, try and send me an invite now. Sure, you're still not online. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not, to be fair, I'm logging in there, so. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see. It says you not high. <laughs> I've gotten, so, I've gotten so bored. I'm looking at my cards. That I, I'm looking at my match attacks cards that I bought like two years ago. There we go. Why would you buy cards if you can just buy another car? You know, I'm gonna throw a Lego up the way. Mm. I'm, I'm looking in the first pair I see. When you've got Lego Speed Champions, Mercedes uh, W, uh, twelve E performance, and Mercedes AMG Project One. What? I have a Lego, and you can't stop me from building it. Um, I can. I want. Uh, I actually, oh, we're not I doing twenty quid on this, and it was worth it. The best guys, we there. don't need to do match attacks because we can do Ace Trumps Formula One cards. What? I'd rather build my Lego. I'd rather beat my Lego Speed Champions, Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance, and Mercedes AMG Project One. <laughs> I don't blame. I don't blame you to be honest. But let's take a look at what's in Uh, we've got the 2010 Ferrari. We've got the uh, the 2008 Williams. What else have we got? 2009 Braun. The 2009 Ferrari. Uh, the 2010 Virgin car. That's a, that's an iconic one, isn't it? Uh, what else do we have? The 2009 McLaren. We got a whole load of um, Formula One. Uh. Ace Trump's cards, but uh, we'll take a look at the match attacks as well. I've got Corentin Tolisa from when he played at Bayern Munich. I've got uh, uh, Pruno Fernandes, uh, Neymar. Let's see who else um, we've got. Yeah. Uh, a Real Madrid player. We've got some lad who played for Sporting. Should... I can't see. Storm, maybe you should give the grid walk another try. That's a good idea. Actually, I was just looking at that before. I started waffling on about Let match attacks. Just... But... Who should we invite first? See, right then. What? It's the moment that you've all been waiting for. Maybe you haven't. If you haven't, then get a life. It is Storm's Grid Walk for the third time in Next Gen by JL. And our first driver we're going to be talking to is Vic. If he wants to, at least. If he wants to. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the good thing, yeah. Of Yaz Heath. I can't wait to banish people again. I enjoy doing that. Because I'm a horrible person. Vic, you have been summoned. I have been summoned. Vic is here. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. You? Pretty good, yeah. Look, Yaz Heath has been under a little bit of... Uh, uh, a little bit of a restructure in the last week. What would you like to say to the news about the team? Uh, I'm just going to keep it real with you. I have no idea what happened to the team. I wasn't even in that mess. <clears throat> so if you could uh, refresh me a little bit on what happened, that would be nice. It will be sold. Tim, go. It will be sold at the end of the season. Mm, oh, that. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, excuse me. I don't really have a... have a thought about that. Um, I mean, it might be for the better, maybe for, for the worse. We'll see how uh, it ends up going. But yeah, it could go honestly both ways. 
Just uh, the corporate powers and the good hands. Yeah, that's I think all we're hoping for uh, in terms of Yaz Heat's future. Looking towards Austria tonight, are you confident around the track? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just uh, maybe in a text or two, just uh, watching out and make sure that it, that it, that I don't spin out. But uh, if I stay consistent in the second sector, I think it's going to be a good day or a good night. Top five ambitions or? Okay, that's that's very good. Thank you very much, Vic. Best of luck tonight. Thank All you right. for having me. Go back to the shadow. Go back to the play area. I mean, uh, the audience. I didn't say that. Uh, so, sorry. Yeah, I think you can. I think you can. Portrait uh, slip. Yeah, yeah. We'll move on. Razos is the uh, is the Razos. His bio says that uh, he's the fishing YouTuber guy, but is he the racing Formula One man? We don't know. Razak will hopefully yeah. answer that for us. Are you the racing Formula One man? Yeah, just yeah. Uh, my second hobby. Um, when um, the main hobbies, you know, just just not there for me at the moment. Like you know, miserable weather. So yeah, all I can do is just play Formula One. That's what I can do and just wait. Ambitions for tonight's race? Mhm. Mm yeah, mm -hmm. sometimes I have good racing. Sometimes bad racing. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Uh, top ten, top five. What are you looking for tonight? Hmm. I'm hoping to get points because um, I'm That's a good. surf driver. Um, yeah. So if they don't have anyone, I, I'll be to um, get points for them. I mean, I would like to get a podium as well, but points is my main target. Well, thank you very much, Razos, and we will wish you the best of luck for tonight. Yeah. Thank you yeah, very much. Thank you. Those are the only two people we can unfortunately talk to today, which is very sad. But hopefully more people will join us. Tim, maybe spread the word. What? Spread the word. Spread the word about getting people on for Gridwalk, because we still haven't uh, figured out how to get the time gap sorted. Because the lobby hasn't filled yet. Start later. Yeah, fair enough, but that leaves us uh, hanging for time and things to talk about. I could go back to talk about match effects, but I don't think that's I don't think quite legible. I don't think we'll be like, that willing to listen to it. Mm, maybe. Let's see. Oscar's here, Yasko's here, Makan's here. It's just, this is the worst grid walk ever. <laughs> Absolutely. We got another person. Who is that person? Who is the person? We got two. We got two. Yeah, we will go fast first. I mean, we'll probably start I mean, we'll... late anyway. <laughs> yeah, we never start on time in this league, do we? Bottas, uh, one last game. Hello. Yeah, okay, we'll 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 start then. Uh you won last week in Japan. You won last week in Miami and TRL. It's been a pretty good week. Is it gonna be another win tonight? I will probably not. Very, very blunt. I'm not surprised. Why is that? Uh I'm worse I haven't played this game since like Sunday. And I don't blame you, this game is atrocious. Uh top I agree. three. Oh it's nice. Uh, fucking Oscar, Super, and Vic. Right. Thank you very much for that prediction. And we'll wish you the best of luck tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Where's someone on stage? Oh god, we do. Right. Good evening to Super Spider. No. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, okay. and yeah perfect. Uh, looking towards the nice. Is this a good track for you? 
Absolutely not. I'll select it last year. I always have. And I've been a just to go back to the guys, not many people liking this track tonight, which is interesting. Yeah, that's rather interesting. Mm, indeed it is. Uh, what's the ambitions for tonight? Top 10? Top 5, maybe? Oh, are you asking me for being a top 5? Yes, yes. Oh, uh... It's not as... Unless there's like chaos, which there probably will be, I don't think I'd be a top 5. Top 10, maybe, uh... You're like P8, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you very much, Super. Best of luck for tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And like yeah. get the juba up. He's declined. Oh. That is deep. That is very depressing. Has that happened before? Maybe once or twice, but it's very sad whenever it does. Yes, it's very very sad. My disappointment is immeasurable on the day. <laughs> uh, ben, what's the computer saying? Uh, maybe. Wait, hang on, no. It's a different, it's a different one this time. Peter says maybe. <laughs> oh, I've just invited the wrong person. It's brilliant. It says maybe. maybe. Computer, uh, so at the moment, I've had to speak to EA servers. Computer says yeah. Perfect. Nice. How Is that good, Walk? Nope. Uh, I might change in a minute. It said it's going to say no soon, but I don't know when. But it will say no. Computer says no. There we go. Server says no. Computer says no. Yeah, it says that. Right. A lot of fun we get up to in the commentary box. And we are going to move to our illustrious commentary chat. Qualifying is coming up in a few minutes' time. It says, no. Nice. I'm not sure if that's made a difference, but yeah. Yeah, well, we're almost ready for qualifying. It's just like 20 seconds away, or some people might join soon, but don't see that happening to be honest. Probably people being late again. Hooray! Hooray! Celebrate Hooray. good times. Right. Come on. While we wait for Sam Rose and the most Easy. emotional. Sam Rose, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about Sam Rose in the lobby. 
While we wait for Sam Rose to send me the most emotional P9 of my life, we are going to give the most famous words in all of motorsport. Are we ready, guys? Actually, do you know what you're going to say? Well, I know what I'm going to say, but... Does Ben know? That's the, that's that's the, the big thing. question. Does yeah. it involve an engine? <laughs> yeah, it does. Here, here, here is what you will say. Uh, when I'll, I'll give you the command. Drivers, start your engines. And we're going to go on three. Are you good with that? All right, got it. So on three, I have to say, drivers, stop your engines. Start, <laughs> not stop. What is that laugh, Tim? I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, our laugh. <laughs> For real. Drive. All right, hang on. Let me try this again. On the okay. count of three. Yep. I say, drivers, engage yeah. your engine starter motors. Just, just do it already, because we'll... we'll, we'll, we'll... Yeah, start your engines. Okay. On one. On two. On three. Drivers, start yeah, your, your engines. engines. Brum, 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 brum. In sync moment ever. <laughs> yeah. It's so in sync. Yeah, we, lo we love being in sync in this league. I think you can tell. <laughs> Bubba is not stopping his engine. Yeah, that, that's his engine. His starter motor has exploded. He will not be starting his engines tonight. Boss has is taking a grid penalty. How sad. Anyway, it is race three of eight. In the next gen by JL season, it's the Austrian Grand Prix. And qualifying is going to start in a few moments' time. Just seconds away now for everyone to load in the setups to go and to go. <laughs> oh, I think Sam Rose is finally ready to send this to me, but yeah. we'll see. If we don't have time to do it in qualifying of the race, then we will do it in the post race. Yeah. Well, a very good evening to you all. Welcome along to qualifying for round three of eight of season four of Next Gen by JL. It is the Austrian Grand Prix from the Red Bull Ring in 18 minutes qualifying. It's just about to get underway. I'm Mr. Storm and joining the commentary box for the third time this season, it's the wonderful Tim. And for the second time this season, the even more wonderful... No, I'm joking. You're both great. Ben, Buxton, guys, it has been a fantastic start to the season. What are we looking forward to tonight? Uh, Racing. Yeah, that, that's, he's got a that would be great. Uh, to be honest, I think, well, well, of course, not as much people as the last two races, but I think we'll surely see a lot of activity on track. It's a short track, low, low high speed, so I'm looking forward to this one. Well, if you're just joining us, welcome along, sunny skies in Styria. This is the third round of the championship. 16 minutes, 50 seconds to go, but the time should be set now. Yep, 18 minutes of qualifying to come around the 11 corner red ball ring. I wonder if no, Sam Rose has finally sent that. Uh, meanwhile, pit lane is still relatively quiet. I haven't had the shout of the car starting up yet because everyone seems to be not wanting to be the first guy out on track. It's oh, oh, here we go. Movement in yeah, the pit mind. lane. And it's yes. In a bar. I yes. believe it is... It's Artem. Skyscap uh, and Artem someone is, else. Artem is Skyscap. Uh, yeah, Artem, yeah. Artem, you know what it looks like? Uh, that's a very nice livery car, I think, tonight. Yes. That Artem's driving, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's a tribute livery to the bar livery of season one. So that's great to see some throwback. Well, Bath was out first, but Skyscap has immediately displaced him. On the track, qualifying to come. Ben, what's qualifying all about? Uh, it's set about setting the fastest lap around the circuit. Uh, to have a chance to start first on the grid tomorrow, because it's easy if you start up further the grid than if you work at the back. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Yeah, because uh, if you were to start on pole, in this case, you would have... 14 drivers behind you, presumably, unless you take a group penalty. 
POV Lewis Hamilton in the 2021 Turkish Grand Prix anyway. Skyscap will be the first driver to get his qualifying session underway, coming into the penultimate corner, past the pit lane entrance, and then into the final corner. He has won the second race of this season, has invalidated his outlap, and has invalidated his first flying lap. That's not the best start, which means it's over to Artem Lizov who will have the first flying lap of this qualifying session. Down into turn number one, third gear, then up to four for 160 kilometers an hour. Activates the DRS as he comes down the long, reconfigured back straight, obviously, from MotoGP. Notice that little chicane there on the left-hand side of your screen. At the first second split, it is a 16.292. Second uh, gear coming so through turn three. Name, uh, Oscar appears to have stopped on the exit turn three. I'm not sure what's happened there. I'm just going to have... He's, he's had a spin. So right, thank you very much, again. Ben. Thanks, Ben. Artem down in towards this complex of corners, rising up from 5th, 6th, and then just about into 7th before he drops down the gears and drops down to the speedometer as he comes up towards the second sector split. He hasn't validated his lap time, so that is obviously not what Artem wants. I'm just trying to find who's coming out next on track. It's Cuba. Uh, it is Cuba, yes, and he's at a 45.9 in the middle sector coming up then towards the penultimate corner onto the Qatar Airways and Pirelli Zero advertising banner into the penultimate corner. Seven gear, 250 kilometers an hour, and then a little bit wide at turn 11, which might compromise him slightly. Up to the line, our first lap time is a 1 minute 6.042. Few few drivers just, no. Uh, no, it hasn't. Yeah, a few do. Uh, Sam Rose. Oh, what a great lap from Sam Rose there. To set a one minute 5.099, but I'm riding on board with Skyscap anyway. As he comes down in towards turn four, it's second gear rising up into third, then fourth, and then into fifth through the little kink of five. And then into sixth in seventh gear, drops it down to fifth gear, 210 kilometers an hour at the middle sector split. Skyscap sets a 44.552. Nikon has now gone quickest with a 1 minute 4.048. So the drivers are definitely getting adjusted to this track. Lap times falling by the second. Skyscap into the penultimate corner. Sixth gear takes a lovely run through there. Make sure not to run wide into 11. Skyscap does it just about perfectly, but then messes up the exit. Would have set a 1 minute 3.770, but hasn't validated his lap is... time. Nikon that quickest. Yeah, I said I, think I oh, said yeah. that. Yeah, Artem went into second with a one minute four point nine five uh, not point nine five four. Zom said in third. As we could follow Fake, who of course has a lot of pace here. And he's he started the lap, he just completed the first uh, sector there. Yasko is going quick, he got fastest second sector and is coming up to the line right now and replaces Nikon at the front. That's Fantastic lap from Yasko Kirill, woman at 3.718, Tim. That's an amazing lap, of course, but I mean, yeah, it's quite not surprising me seeing who puts it down. As we currently follow Vic as he is uh, almost completing the middle sector there. As he does That's so. That's a 45 8. 45 8. Let's see what he eventually can put down. He said he. He's, according to other drivers, has the pace here, so let's see if he does have the pace here. Well, runs very wide through turn 10. Hasn't invalidated his lap, interestingly enough. Obviously, that running wide would have compromised him. He goes into 6th. 1 minute 5.571, a tenth quicker than Razaj. Up to the line next is Super Scoop Hyder in the black, white, and red car. Lovely livery, that. Up to the line he comes. Goes into fifth with a one minute five point zero six nine. The Darling. field is quite spread out, but it is close between certain drivers. And now it's Dalnik here. Quick, it was quick in the middle sector. So let's see what he can put down in the last couple of corners. What for his lap time he invalidates it, and that's his lap time gone. Well, what I noticed, um, Tim, was that he set a lovely line for that um, penultimate corner. But really struggled coming down in towards turn eleven. Slightly cut the corner too much and yeah. validated as that because of it. Yeah, not, not, not great for him, of course, to see, but certain stuff happens. Well, Alexander Delnik had a decent qualifying last time out in Suzuka, but did retire early on due to a first lap incident and himself losing pace. Next up to the line would be Makan in the Union Jack car, so it's a 45.478 in that middle sector. The game says it's purple, it isn't. Yeah, it's not. Um, I've been paying attention to no. it. Uh, 
I've been watching for the whole lap and month, I know it's your software. Uh, mm. I'm predicting you're out fifth, maybe, here, uh, based on my we'll numbers see crunching. If, see if it's right and it's sick, and it is very close to going to fifth to displace Super Supida, a woman. Well, if I round the mirror in fifth place, I'm right, so. Yeah, but you, you didn't, so. Bath Destroyer uh, well, to the line next. Well, I, I'm, well I've decided I'm now uh, going to the nearest fifth place. I've now decided so, that. Um... Oh, yeah, computer well, has said no for dummy. <laughs> computer says no. <clears throat> computer says no. Bath Destroyer goes into third place in the PHM car, woman at 4.5. Two, six first runs, more or less done. Yasko Kirill with a woman at 3.718 is our provisional pole man at the moment. Tim. Yeah, I think what well, was the quick drivers out there? I think Litzwald might have a decent chance here, I don't know what he can do, but we'll see if he just about starts his lap here. Tim, take us through us. I don't know any of the corner names, I don't they, I know they have names, but that's about it. As he has through turn 1, uh, turn 2, that in my opinion is still not a turn, we're almost there on that now, I think. I think yeah. it's the turn. <laughs> Yeah, it is, yeah. And according to the game, it's third by the first sector, but I don't know, it's the game. Continuing the, through the second sector now. As he has, he, he's got some traffic ahead, but I think they are just about far away enough to not hinder him, but we'll see. Well, one of them went aside anyway, so now he's got a big gap with his teammate there. Well, at the middle sector split, and it was set to 45.208. Ben, take us through the rest of the lap. Uh, so coming up to what is, I believe, turn 8, whatever it is. A uh, little dab of the brake through turn 8. Coming up to turn 9, keep it nicely in track limits as much as you can, because the invalidations are going to be quite common around here, and goes up to a respectful fourth place. What I find very interesting about this session is that Yasko Kirill has absolutely blitzed the field going into the 1 minute 3s. But has also got a very big gap to Litwa, who is in fourth place for um, nearly a, just about a second quicker than the man in the Europol car there. Uh, coming up to the line next is Zom Z. He is one a bit tense up, but hasn't validated his lap. So it will yeah. not be any of an improvement from Zom Z there. Uh, yellow flag in sector two, presumably. That's just really awesome. Well. Yeah. Flying, eh? Yeah, Skyscap as well. Skyscap's on a flying lap. I'm going to ride on board with him. Artem, Artem has abandoned his lap, it seems, as he's... I'll, I'll keep an eye on Oscar because he's also on a lap and he's yet to that time. Tim, we can watch uh, Skyscap then. Skyscap coming up towards turn number six. Sixth gear into seventh, then down into fifth. Just goes under 200 kilometers an hour up to the middle. Oh, Oscar's Skyscap around. 44.9. Tim. Oscar is oh, around. No, sorry, Ben. Oscar is yeah. round between turn eight and turn nine and... Dives into the pit lane. That lap is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Skyscap in towards turn number 10, then down into turn 11. Fifth gear at the final corner. Up towards the DRS line. Activates the rear slot on his rear wing. Comes up to the line. Goes into a very decent third place with a woman at 4.306. Domi is back. Computer says yes. No, you didn't do it right. It's the computer says yeah. Mm. Uh, a few next. drivers coming into the pit. Zom's in the pit. Dalnik is on the fly as well now. As this one yeah, he is guns. coming through turn yeah. four, yeah. Uh, rising up the gears, Still it's under the Rolex advertisement banner. Up to the middle sector splits, it's a 44.561. That is a very, very good middle sector. Absolutely blistering for the man who could have done really, really well at the Japanese Grand Prix last time out. In towards turn number 10, he comes sixth gear, 255 kilometers an hour, down into 200-ish 200, 200 kilometers an hour. Up to the line comes Alexander Delnick, goes into second. Only 30 thousands of a second off Yasko Kirill, who's still that on is, provisional pole position. That is close, though. We're going to see a fun battle in the final runs, aren't we? Yeah, we'll uh, fun, Let's is. see. Uh, Super Super Fighter started a lap as well. Uh, I'm not sure who else is on the flyer, though. Uh, I believe... Uh, no, Art oh, might... Destroyer is on the flag. Arson might be, I think. Mm. I'm not sure if Bart Destroyer, I believe, is. Is he next up? Yeah. 
He is, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's 93 thousandths of a second up in the middle sector. We keep him in fifth place at the moment. Coming up to the line, activates the DRS, rising up in towards eighth gear, and stays in fifth with a one and a bit tenth improvement. Yeah, it's just, it was a slow lap there, going a bit off there in the turn, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> yeah. he's on the in lap anyway. Uh, Alexander has also pit, so coming up to the line next is Artem, one and a bit tense up on his current time with keep him seventh at the moment, but it's a good final sector, which sees him go 14 thousandths of a second quicker than Litwa. In seventh, uh, Super Supida has bailed out of his lap. Cars are starting to come out now for their final runs, you'd like to think. Yeah, I think they are, I'm not too sure I've done to the timer right now, but... I think some yeah, some is the next car to put down on F play as he's almost out left right now, just past the middle sector. Well, just ben, waiting. what have you made of this session? Uh I don't really know what to say for it because we've got an even like everyone's really close together, Ikf, and I think my computer no 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 never mind. Uh, um, sorry, I... can I just interrupt, um, Ben? Artem Lizov has stopped in the middle of the track and has retired. So Artem Lizov has had some sort of problem that has seen his setup or his equipment basically kill itself. Uh, he was stopped in the middle of the track trying to select all the gears, trying to find uh, the throttle, but has failed to do so and has retired from the session. So sick will be the best he will be able to do. Will probably fall down the order, Ben. Uh, my computer is in the process of saying no, so uh, don't come to me. Tim? Uh, well, I didn't hear the question, but... No, I didn't ask I mean, you a question, oh, just to calm oh, well, down, I'm trying to see Zomzi, what happens with Artem. Zomzi I don't know what happened with Artem, but it's a shame, but Zomzi is just, uh, up, like, it's a tent up in the middle sector here. Let's see what he can do. Coming down in towards turn 10, he comes 8th gear, dropping it down to 6, 250 kilometers an hour. Will he stay in 6th? He will drop it down to 4th gear? That's interesting. We've seen a lot of drivers taking different gear configurations at turn 11, uh, Zomzi, Zomzi goes into 6th. Solid lap from him there. Blistering lap from him. Next up, uh, Nikon is be... on an outlap as well. Yeah, next up will Mark. be Fick, I think. Yeah, Fick. Uh, Fick's on the plane. Has... Fick is too yeah, Zomzi there. Is... And now, six tenths off the middle sector. He's on a, he's on a fly. He is going quick, thick. Well, this would be provisional P9, Tim, which would be absolutely incredible for oh, him. And, and he and he can still improve in the last sector, but he invalidates it. Uh, and that's a shame. Uh, that is, that is very unfortunate. Nikon has started potentially his final flying run. He did very well in the opening race of the season, coming up towards that first sector split. Only needs really a really attempt for the half improvement, but it's 61 thousandths of a second down at the first sector timing split. Activates the DRS as he comes down the first back straight, sixth gear, rising into seventh, getting the toe of the driver that's in front of him, then into eighth, and then breaking all the way down into third gear for turn numero cuatro. It's, it's not it's not an Italian track, you know. You should. It's Austrian, so probably should talk German then. <laughs> yeah, Nikon uh, on and a bit tense down, so it's not going to be a provisional pole position for him. Uh, for any of the viewers thinking that I know German, I do not. I know Spanish and uh, a bit of Russian, English, Irish, and uh, yeah, that's about it. And Nikon, as you can see with Nikon, is a special lift for the team. As five place. Oh, um. Pandemic. Oh. Ooh, right. I'm not sure what's happened there. Oh, I, th I but think may he might be blocking Bath Destroyer there. Mm, yeah. Although Bath Destroyer Yasko's is going, going very well, slow as well. Yeah, Yasko's going really slow too, so Bart I'm not sure Bart what's Destroy, happening there. Bath Destroyer, look, everyone's just going Bath Destroyer low and letting the cars ahead again. Weird stuff to see there. I've noticed this all session on Domi's computer. Well, I'll let Ben say it. Yeah, it says no. There we go. Well, the, the, the the my, com uh, my computer is saying as Razo is yeah. on the flyer. Yeah. I've noticed that a lot destroyed. of um, yeah, that's great. Razo's on the flyer here. Let's see what he can do if he 
gets the two. yaska has got a penalty too. What, what are they doing? Let's see. Oh, they just they're just doing it to each other. They're just going yeah. slowly with together. They're just blocking off each other. I think it's the teammates giving each other script penalties. Yeah, and Alexander Delnick has gone past. Oh, so. oh, oh, God, Rice. Computer said no. <laughs> Ben's gone. Ben's gone. Uh, yeah. Well, I invite him back. Have you got that tutorial, Tim? Uh, if you can do that. Okay, okay, perfect. Take us through then the final qualifying runs. Oh, it's Skyscap who is five tenths up in the first sector. There, look at that. In the second sector, I mean, through the middle sector. He went and he's five tenths up already. He just has to keep it on track to the last corners there. He might be out of there for pole position. Well, it will be pole position if he gets in front of Nikon and he might well do so and does an absolutely scintillating lap. What he doesn't even need to get past Nikon. He can just go first with a 1 minute 3. Point and, four, and five, Jasko three. And that should a, do us. Yes, and Dominic are quickest, but are, are maybe quick, but they have a grid penalty, so they won't start up from pole position either way. Yeah, we'll see what Yasko is able to do. Um, it looks like Alexander has aborted his final lap. Yasko, one tenth up in the middle sector, wouldn't be enough though to save his skin and get provisional pole position, of course, due to both of those drivers getting a five-place grid penalty for legal blocking. Obviously, trying to sabotage each other's final qualifying run. Yasko is a little bit out of sorts coming into turn ten, into turn eleven though. It was the outcome that nobody really expected, but Skyscap might just have sealed provisional pole position. We'll see just what happens. Though. It's completed. It's Dummy is joined just in time there. Uh, Raz out up to the line in the other Chevrolet stays in 15th. It's been a pretty poor qualifying session for him. Up to the line next is Makan, who did cross the line. Um, Oscar has gone into P5 in the Europol 3.858. Uh, Skyscap has now pissed. Next up is Sam Rose, who is four tenths up. In the middle sector, which should be enough to put him maybe into 10th place on the grid. Will it be a top 10 start for the man who hasn't won a race in a year? Let's find out. Yes, it is. 1 minute 4.608. Oh, Zomzid goes into 8th with a 1 minute 4.517. Only four Bart destroyed point left, five seven. Bart destroyed left, but he's, he's not improving enough for this, is he? No. I hate to say this, but I'm... I'm... My computer is saying no way too much. Then it and will be Skyscraper. So I will be the... leaving at the end of qualifying. And oh, my computer is saying no and will not change his mind. Shame. What's a shame. shame? Yeah, I hate having to say it, but my computer is not liking it. Just fix it and come back. I don't know. Uh, exactly. I think it's more of a PC hardware issue because I remember when the new stuff. When the, when the old new Star Wars game came out, it obliterated my computer. <laughs> oh, God. Very sad. Well, thank you very much, Ben. Uh, uh, yeah, because my CPU sad. reached like 110 degrees and it's never been the same since. Yeah, maybe get a new CPU, but that's the problem, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Right. They cost a thank lot you of money. Much, ben. Yeah. I'll try Thanks, to Ben. Next week. Yeah. See you next week, Ben. Thank you very much. See you next week. Yeah. That's very unfortunate, isn't it, Tim? Very unfortunate indeed. As well, oh. Right, then let's run through uh, the oh. qualifying order then for the Austrian Grand Prix. Skyscap, well, against all the odds, has qualified on pole position. Jasko Kirill and Alexander Delnick both for five place grid penalties, which sees Nikon promoted to second. Oscar in third, Bath Destroyer qualified sixth. Makan in seventh, Zomz at eighth. Lit with Sam Rose occupying the rest of the top ten. Artem, Super Spider, Kajuba, Domi. Vic and Razout rounding out the grid. If you're just joining us, good evening. Welcome along to round three of Ace. In this season four of Next Gen by JLI, Mr. Storm. Joined in the commentary box by Tim. It is going to be a dramatic Austrian Grand Prix here in Styria. What are we expecting tonight, Tim? I think we'll get an expect some great racing. Um, yeah, that's, well, that's, that's good, yeah. Yeah, we'll just wait for the racing, I guess. Well, it is a swelteringly hot day in Styria, in Spielberg. Yeah, that's Of course. Good. Yeah, that's always great. That is for sure. Good to see if it does me at least. We haven't had a wet race in quite a long time. Uh, three races this season have been run in the dry, but we are ready for the formation lap. Skyscap will be starting 
on pole position let's take a look at what tire compound the field have decided to start on it's a 36 lap race and it is very varied skyscap nikon and on um, oscar all on the hard compound tire but after story macan have opted for the mediums yasko kirill and zom Z both on the hards alexander delnick interestingly enough starting on the softs and everyone from litwa down to vic on the mediums raz out is the second driver in the Chevrolet on the soft compound tire formation lap well and truly underway 36 laps of the Red Bull ring to come I could not be more excited Tim oh, it, it, it's a very good track y'all are secret racing here so that's great Skyscap said that he was struggling with this track he hadn't touched the game since last Sunday but given the start to the season that he has had he is well and truly undoubtedly the favourite, Tim's favourite, to certainly win tonight. Will you be sticking with that claim after seeing what he did in qualifying? I, th I think you, you definitely can do that. Look at it, you get pole position. He said he wasn't that going to be doing that great, but I think he just proved otherwise. Well, it was a Grand Chelem last week for Skyscap. He completely dominated the Japanese Grand Prix. And now he will be lining up in his grid spot. The grid is very, very spread apart at the moment. Nikon will line alongside him on the front row of Oscar in the Eurofall in third. Bath Destroyer in fourth in the PHM. Makan Yasko Kirill in fifth and sixth. Zomzed in seventh. Alexander Delnik down in eighth. The grid just about to form the third race of this season. Razart will be the last driver in the Chevrolet to line up in his grid spot, the second and uh, second driver on the soft compound tyre, and we are almost ready to go. Green flag at the back, we go to one, two, three, four, and five red lights for the third race of the season. Wait for us, wait for us. And the Austrian... Grand Prix is underway and it's a good start from Skyscap who will probably have the whole shot into turn one against Nikon. Bath Destroyer has got past um, Oscar at the start but as I predicted Skyscap has got the whole shot coming down into turn one. There are a few position changes going through the field. Alexander Delnick has gone from eighth to fifth and now up to fourth. Makan and Sam Rose trading positions as well but at the moment Skyscap leads. Nikon will try and take the lead but can't do so. Bath Destroyer will go past him into second in the PHM but Skyscap has got the start that he needed. He leads the Austrian Grand Prix from Bath Destroyer in second. Nikon, Alexander Delnick, Zomzi, Sada, Sam Rose, Litwa, Yasko Kirill, Makan, Kajuba, Super Spider, Vic, Artem, Domi and Razos. What an incredible start. Look Unsurprisingly, of course, a lot of cars is going right there in the end. Well, that's stuff you, you, you can predict that will happen. It's not List were making moves on Sam Rose there. Sam Rose trying to retaliate, going around the outside. Or trying to hold on to 7th place, but Litwa has got the move done. And is now up against his teammate Oscar in that Europol car, occupying 6th and 7th at the moment. But Skyscape has got the perfect start. Um... And, the, and it's uh, Alexander Delnick who has a great run there on P2 and takes it away there from Bart Destroyer. Delnick has been speeding through the field after having a good start while Jasko had a horrendous start and fell back. Oh, uh, we have it's Super Supida who has gone off the field, or has gone off the track, not the yeah. field, at the first corner. Uh, Skyscap leads this race and Alexander Delnick has got past Bart Destroyer after having to see position after probably gaining advantage, but he has used all of his battery as Bath Destroyer will hang it around the outside. Alexander Delnick does outbreak him though and will remain in second place, but what a start from the man that was cruelly done by in Japan last week from eighth to second in the space of a lap and a half. Yeah, that was definitely incredible lap there. And, well, it, it's quite funny to see that Delnick had a great start and pulled it to push it all the way up to P2 while his teammate who started in I think it was P7 all the way down to P10 now and he was even lower but he made up a position due to Super Speeder spinning of course yeah Sam Rose is keeping the gap with the two Europoles Alexander Delnick has absolutely blitzed Skyscap's fastest lap at one minute 6.72 as we start lap 3 of 36 in the Austrian Grand Prix. No major incidents to report so far except for Super Supida going off the track. At the start of the last lap, DRS is enabled, of course, as this is the third lap. If you're within one second of the car yeah. front of you, you can activate the rear slot in your like rear wing. There, there is, it's Mekan who was thinking about a move there, but 
just decided not to do it yet. We'll uh, see if Sam Rose can try and get a move done on uh, Oscar and Litwa. Uh, interesting enough, the Europols have switched positions. Sam Rose does make slight contact with Oscar and makes contact again. The two TRL rivals getting a little bit too close for comfort there as we head up towards turn number five. That's amazing. Amazing driving, of course. It's a, quite a quite close in the middle pack, and up front it's quite some backs already. It's uh, oh, Bick has Bic. spun out. Yeah. Bick is at a moment, yeah. He's, he's, he's down in P50 now. Not what he was looking to get there, probably. As Jusko is rather close to Macandar, who's close to Sam Rose, who's close to. And so we can continue for ages, but no one gets a move done just yet. And look at Nikon, it's, Nikon is all the way there, Paul. As Nikon is all the way there, losing another position at the Zonsi. Sorry to interrupt, but here comes Oscar up the inside of his teammate coming down in towards turn three. Sam Rose, Makan, and Yasko Kirill all forced to stay behind, but the Europols are dueling, and this might not end well. But look at Nikon and Zomzi. Oscar might be able to engulf them. Is he a little bit too far back coming down in towards turn four? Maybe. Nikon and Zomzi go side by side. Zomzi just about holding on. Nikon staying on his outside, though. We'll have the drive coming in towards turn number six, and we'll get the move done. Yeah, Nikon, of course, losing the position, but not giving it up, and then just taking it back again. Amazing to see What that. I find uh, very interesting about this star is that Yasko has completely imploded. After doing so well in qualifying, has had an absolutely abysmal start to this race. Look at Oscar as well, trying to get on the back of Zom Z there in the Europol car, and Sada taking a very aggressive line. For turn 11, Sam Rose picked up our first track limits. Warning off this race, three seconds for multiple warnings. Here comes Oscar trying to make a move on Zom Z into turn number one. Doesn't go for it, but of course we'll have a better chance coming down in towards turn three and down into turn number four. Here comes Oscar. We'll drag alongside Zom Z. Will he get the move done? Goes to the inside. Goes might, alongside yeah. his rival. Gets it past. Does he though? Because there's a better exit there for Zom Z and Zom Z. Oh, contact. big contact made. Here comes Litwa. It was sweeping through as well as I think I don't know what happened there exactly but Zomsi most definitely was affected by the contact there. He had more pace than the contact happened and he lost all his pace. He was he he would have kept that P five if he wouldn't have that at that contact, that's for sure. Uh, yellow flag, Kajuba has, uh, not, uh, is it Kajuba? I'm not sure. It's, it's Domi. Domi, sorry, Domi. Yeah, Domi spun around. And his woeful start to the season continues. Alexander Delnik has picked up a free second time penalty for multiple warnings. He's still running in second, just about behind Skyscap. Of course, Skyscap running the hard compound tire. Alexander Delnik on the soft. Zomzed very close to Litwa and Sada in the two Europols. Sada trying to bridge the gap to Nikon, who's trying to in turn chase down Bath Destroyer in the PHM for third place. Yeah, Bath Destroyer, of course. I think he, he, he was on the podium on the first race there, so that, that was, of course. Good race for him. Here so comes Lewa up the inside of his teammate. Nearly contact made. That, that, An audacious that, move. That will lose them both time, I think. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Zom's there trying to get back in front, but no avail there. As behind it's Mackinac Marcus, who's close there on Yasko. Yasko just doesn't seem to have pace around there. I don't know what it is, but. He, he got a poor start, made up one position, but he can't get any further. He's close to being overtaken most of the time than overtake. Uh, Tim, Bath Destroyer has had an absolutely abysmal lap. And Nikon, oh, Nikon sliding through turn 10 there. And that is a little bit of his work. Oh, undone. That, that rear of that car is so tail happy at the moment. And Oscar will try and capitalize, but here comes Nikon. Will go to the inside oh, and cool. contact made. And Bath Destroyer is around. And Kajuba has also picked up a free second yeah, time penalty for multiple Nico, warnings. Nico, as Oscar goes from fifth to third. Yeah, Nikon losing a lot of positions there. And I, f I think as far as I just saw, and he's losing even more now. But I think as I saw, it just, Bath Destroyer just cut in the corner a bit too early there. He just well, Nikon and Bath Destroyer tussling again for P10 this time instead of P3. But the Europols have had an absolutely fantastic lap. They're now third and fourth, Oscar leading Litwa. And not all a great incident to see, of course. It was quite no. some close of fundraising and just... From what I could see, it was just Bart Destroyer closing the door a bit too early there. And just causing... And 
with uh, Nico on the inside. Nikon has picked up a three second time penalty now. Uh, also, just to note, Alexander Delic, we have a yellow flag, Kachuba's out! Well, and we have a safety car. What, what happened to. He's, 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 he's just off the track there. He just totally went off. And I think Domi has made a pit stop recently. Seeing him. Yeah, Domi pit in the last few laps. And Yasko Kirill, Makan, Artem Lizov, and Bath Destroyer all taking the opportunity to pit. As I was about to say before the safety car came out, Alexander Delnik was getting very close to Skyscap in the Chevrolet there, but wasn't able to make the move, but he probably would have had but virtual Burn Mylander not come out. The field is making pit stops, and hopefully, for their sake, they will be able to capitalise Yasko Kirill and Mack on the first of those group to come out. Tim, interesting start to the race. That's for sure. I mean, it's, it's, it's for, for Cuba. He's already out there. It's not looking great for him, but... We'll see how it ends up as Nikon is probably happy he's got the free pit stop as Bath Destroyer lost a bit but Nikon probably happy but loads of drivers especially the Europols who pitted of course and all the cars ahead they the other ones just been, uh, been unlucky there it's Dalnik and Skyz who already were past pit lane when the safety car came out well, we'll see what the front men do. Skyscap will Skyscap hit, so will well. Alexander Delnik. Yeah, so I think Alexander mean, will be... Yeah, that will, that will mean that the Europols will then be leading 1-2 with safety car restart. Mm, but Domi it, has... Domi's pit again. Pitting. Domi's pit again. Oscar's pitting again. There's not pitting again. Sam Rose is pitting. Yeah. Tim, what I find interesting is that Alexander Delnik will certainly be very happy to get off. And he's jumped Skyscap. Ooh. Alexander Delnik has jumped Skyscap in the pits. Amazing to see that. Zom Zed will resume the lead of the race. He's gone past Domi, who has pit again for no real understandable reason. But Nikon has gone past Alexander Delnik as well. So Nikon now is the net lead of this race. Alexander Delnik remains in net P2. Skyscap down from first to third. Yeah, of course. That, well, Nikon and Zomzi are the only two to not pit yet. So that's probably why. <laughs> as they just well, off to stay out. Both on the hearts, I think they just want to continue with the strategy, even they probably know they can't keep the lead, but they also know that they were far behind, so they'll probably still jump a couple of positions there on strategy, even though they're differing strategies here, yeah. obviously. But yeah, I mean, look, they won't, it's obvious they won't keep that one and two or that podium, not even to show sure about top five, but they for sure be just outside of the top five with this strategy if that turns out well yeah but we might be waiting for maybe another lap we might be able to get going on lap 11 hopefully, hopefully. or lap 12 depending on whether Domi can uh, get back to virtual burn mylander in the rear of the field very quickly we will be staying out for another lap but zom zed leads this race nikon is in second nikon decides to piss Nikon's and that's a very late good. call very late call he he just I don't know why he waited so long with that, but... He's really sabotaged himself there. Yeah, I mean, he, he'll have a slightly better tie, but it's barely. And he has gone onto the yellow wall compound medium time. That's a very good stop as well. Yeah, it's a good uh, stop. I'd say man. just about two seconds, I'd say. We'll, we'll take a look at um, how quick that was. 2.249 seconds. That's a solid pistol, but again, he just... He was, I think he was like in P8 or P9 before the safety car came out, and now he's all the way down in P14. Yeah, the cruelty of a misfortunate strategy. Zomzed leads this race. Alexander Delnik, though, in net P1 with Skyscap dropping down from first all the way down to third. Oscar and Litwa in the Europols are fourth and fifth. Sam Rose has gone up to sixth, albeit he has a three second time penalty. Yaskar Kiro, Makan, Artem, and Bath Destroyer round at the top 10. Vic, Razat, Super Supida, Nikon, and Domi are our back marker drivers at the moment. Juba, the only retirement from this race so far. Will the safety car be coming in at the end of the lap? It doesn't look like it. Maybe it will. If so, Domi is uh, in a very, very bad position here. We sh almost, should probably go around one more time, though. I would, I would, if I were the FAA, I would bring you the safety car in already because. All of us will just have another whole lap for one singular car who's like half a sector behind currently. Well, Virtual Burn Mylander in the Mercedes safety car will stay out for one more lap. 
yeah, which think... allows Zom Z to a little relax, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, he probably has to get himself uh, ready because well, it's going to be an onslaught against him. Yeah, of course. He, he'll he'll be on their effect. Well, I mean, he's on the hard fires. If we take a quick look at the fires there. We've got some other cars in the middle and in the back while on the hard tires. Then, but the cars behind him are on the mediums and Litwa's on the softs. So that would mean that they will have a especially easier time since they just have a quicker tire, a newer tire. Don't know what else you could ask for. The car ahead, the car in P1 has old hards. You're on new mediums. That's an easy overtake if you'd ask me. So I think they should well, be getting it done easily. Easier said than done though, especially if Zomzek can defend well. Safety car in this lap and the safety yeah. car has decided to uh, make that decision very, very early on in the lap indeed. Not waiting until the middle second time and split. But Zomzed will control the pace. Alexander Delnick in second, Skyscap third. It is going to be a battle that will hopefully go on for the rest of this race. Alexander Delnick jumps Skyscap in the pit lane. Skyscap, our championship leader in the Chevrolet. Zomzed will control the pace. It is the first restart of this, the third round of the eight in season four yeah. of the next gen by JL. The first restart of this Austrian Grand Prix, Zomzed will control the pace. Yeah, Zomzed, of course, he's got enough fun. That it's, he's got the worst tires, but he is, he's got the way he be the one who's getting everyone going again, so. If he gets a good restart. When, when will he go? And he's off. And he is off. And it's a great restart from Zom Z there. Who is on the massively inferior tire to Alexander Delnik. Uh, it does look like there is a few position changes. Jostling for position. Coming through the field. Sam Rose trying to get past um, Litwa. Skyscap has gone past Alexander Delnik. Contact made. And Alexander Delnik's around. And so is Skyscap. Skyscap and Zom Z might be able to get away because of this. Yeah, Zom's Z getting away lucky there, and it's a five second time penalty for Delnik, and he, he, he collided, I think that one was not for the direct collision, but for the collision that happened when re-entering the track as... Uh, Oscar leads, Oscar takes the lead of the race past Zom Z, and the Europols lead a race for the first time in this season, and then Litwa will try and make it a 1-2, of course Litwa's on the soft compound tyre, so we might be seeing an inter-team war about to take place, lap 12 of 36, Tim. Oh, it's... A lot of things happen, of course, we've got our two potential race winners all the way at the back now, after the collision. Well, here comes Litwell, we'll be forced to go around the outside, coming into turn 10, this surely can't end well. Zomzed tries to defend, contact made! Litwa has lost his position, here comes Yasko Kirill. He will drag alongside Zomzed, Sada has absolutely legged it after getting past, here comes Zomzed and Litwa. Litwa gets past Zom Z, tries to dive up the inside of Yasko Kirill, can't, Vic gets a three second time penalty. Four multiple warnings, Skyscap and Alexander Delnick still at the back, here part. comes Sam Rose! And the man who hasn't won a race for a year is moving his way up the order, it's anyone's game at the moment, it's anyone's race here in Spielberg. A lot of exciting, especially, you know, safety cars aren't quite boring, but the racing, that, the close racing after the safety car is such, so, such a lot of fun. It's a joy to watch. It's a joy to watch. It's just suffering through the safety car to get to some fun. Is there some small collision between Zomzi and yeah. Vic there? Yeah, but Vic manages to get past and uh, Nikon has gone past Artem Lizov as well. His next target is Bath Destroyer. And Bath Destroyer does make contact with Zom Z. Hopefully that doesn't end well for the two of them. Bath Destroyer will get past. Nikon looks up the inside. We'll drag alongside and Zom Z Zom there. Zom is just losing and losing and losing there. It's... Yeah. Absolutely. And he will piss, he will piss. He's pissing now, yeah. Yeah, I would. Oh, contact made! Oh, oh and oh, uh, oh, Raz out. Super Supide has crashed. I think Zom Z pissing started a sort of a chain reaction that has definitely not helped yeah. anyone. Skyscap has set the fast up with a 6.312. He's in 12th, Alexander Delnick in 13th, and he is a way, way behind Skyscap at the moment. Econ and Artem Lizzo very close. I just, all I just saw the incident was just one car and just going off there, pretty high speed there. Yeah, Super I, didn't, I didn't see much of it either. Super Speed, from what I could see, Super Speed is lucky to not go into the wall. If you went into the wall, it would have been a horrendous crash probably. If you could not mm. have kept it on, kept it uh, control. 
Here comes Nikon on Bath Destroy. These two have warred before in this race. Bath Destroy looking increasingly inferior to Nikon, who is trying to sustain his charge for a good race result here today. Bath Destroy just about trying to hold on to P7, but Nikon is charging, 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 and coming, coming, coming. Alexander Delnik has picked up a three second time penalty for multiple warnings. Nikon unable to get past Bath Destroyer, but will have DRS on the front straight. We'll activate DRS and we'll go to the inside and we'll fly past Bath Destroyer for P7. Will the PHM man retaliate? It doesn't look like he will. Zomz has picked up Alexander Delnik's house. What happened to him? Then? And has he given up? Has he given up? I think he might have just retired in the pit lane, yeah. Mm. Like here. Skyscap has also had a small moment. Skyscap's disconnected again! It's and just like last week, Skyscap's internet has absolutely ruined his race. It didn't ruin his race last time out, but it certainly ruined it tonight. He disconnected in TRL his week last weekend. The internet a massive problem for him at the moment. Does Bath Destroy and Nikon are warring for P7? And Nikon now ahead there. Small amount of contact there into turn number six, and Nikon has had a moment coming out of there, just about has held the car. And that is very good for him, but at the moment, Oscar leads this race from Jaskov Kirill in second, Litwa in third in the second Europol car, Sam Rose is in fourth, we have a yellow flag uh, for the AI of Alexander Delnik. Skyscap is back in the lobby, he's only second behind Domi, so he should get past him very quickly. Yes, Sam Rose goes past Litwa, Litwa for P3, and here comes Makan! Litwa drops from third to fifth in the space of a straight, and now Makan is right on Sam Rose's gearbox. Sam Rose in the podium's position here. But for Litwa how long is increasingly closer. Here comes Makan. Will be forced to go right around the outside, coming down in towards turn three. Contact made between him and Sam Rose. The Brit warring with his rival there in the British flag car. Makan trying to hold on. Litwa will go around the outside. Skyscap is disconnected again. Consider that and basically race over for him. But Litwa will go right around the outside of the Union Jack car. And Makan relegated from fourth down to fifth. Amazing fights here to see. As Makan was just about to overtake there, Sam Rose, but had to back off a bit. And Litwa just provided there. Litwa with a big moment coming out of um, turn 8 and 9 there, coming down in towards turn number 10. They go. Sam Rose just about holding onto a podium position, but the battle for that final slot on the rostrum has been absolutely epic. Makan is also gaining in a straight line as well. He's got 80% bash compared to Litwa's just 6%. He will back out of the move coming into turn 1, but he will have double DRS. Vic will have triple DRS. Coming down in towards turn number three. This will end surely very well. For someone at least. And Here comes Litwa. Trying to gain. Fig Vic, dude, look at Fig there. What Plus a two. move from Vic. That's sensational. That is utterly sensational Litwa from Vic. Who is dragging Litwa. No. Litwa will be forced to go around the outside. Just like he did in the last lap. Skyscap's back in the lobby. Contact made between him and Vic. And they have gone off the track. And they are both sent spinning around. And it has ended very badly for both of them. And oh my god, Razaus has just about avoided them. And so has Domi. That's but oh my word, oh. Tim. Yeah, they, they, what, they both just struggled with grip there. And just went wrong. And that is absolutely terrible for both Vic and Litwa. Yeah. Litwa was in such a promising position in the Europol. Now it's just a Europol 112 instead of what it could have been a Europol 13 on the podium. The ice cap, of course, is back in the lobby and trying to chase down Domi there. Chevrolet man only on for one championship point at the moment. At the moment, though, Oscar leads as a Nikon and Makan are fighting for P4. And Makan in the Union Jack car will begin his pursuit of the British driver in front of him. Yeah, lots of stuff happen happening, but I don't but bother. Well, he, one thing he's certain of, and that's. He's likely to keep the lead of the championship. He's got 24 points lead there on Bart Destroyer. Bart Destroyer also not in a great position anyway. And Sorry to interrupt. Big contact there between Makan and Nikon. And Makan with a slightly dirty move there to so maybe get back into P4. Nikon did have a very good send up the inside coming down in towards turn number 4. Makan obviously not happy with it. Small contact made but he is back into P4. Sam Rose very happy in third at the moment. And Nikon getting very close to the gearbox of Makan. He will have DRS on his rival coming up towards turn numero uno. Union Jack. 
can you uh, please mute yourself? And I believe the perpetrator has left there. Nikon uh, still racing Makan for P4. And Nikon has got a very good run coming up towards turn number three. Mm -hmm. Stuff happening, of course, that's for sure. Nikon will go past Makan. Makan will try and fight it again. We'll have DRS and we'll use Overtake. We have the yellow flag for Vic. His race continues to go from bad to worse, but here comes Makan, and will go past Nikon into P4. Nikon will try and hold it around the outside again. Will they make contact this time? It's a great exit from Nikon. We'll go to the inside, which will translate to the outside. Makan will try and hold on. Just about will do so. Nikon fires it around the outside. Contact made, but just about holds the place. Great move there, around the outside. Has to go fully for it then, Nikon. Oh, Oscar has picked up a three-second time penalty for multiple warnings, and now the pressure is on, as Jasko Kirill is now in the net lead off the Austrian Grand Prix. Yeah, of course, everything can still happen. If, yeah, I mean, I don't know how many you run if Jasko is on, maybe he's just one mistake away from a three-second penalty as well. Uh, interesting enough, Nikon has had a big moment coming out of Turn 1 as he uh, begins his pursuit of Sam Rose in third place, Bath Destroyer. And Ma is way, way behind Makan, but Makan trying to get past Nikon. He will have double DRS on both Nikon and Sam Rose in turn coming down the back straight. Yeah, but he had a poor exit. Look at that. He did, yeah. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is that Makan and Sam Rose's ERS manager has been absolutely phenomenal tonight. Nikon really struggling with his battery, only on 16%. Yeah, and Nikon has been burning through it with these fights. I think. I'm not too sure if it will work out for him that way, but we'll see. I mean, if he if he manages it around like 20% the whole time and manages to keep the position, that's still impressive if you'd ask me. Because he's got to do micromanagement of the ERS instead of just managing. Oh, with poor exit there. Yeah, but for both drivers there as well, Nikon and Mac and Sam Rose will be allowed to get away a little bit, but Nikon will have DRS. And we'll try and get past his British rival coming down into turn one to no avail, though. We'll have a very good opportunity down into turn three. Though with a massive kick at the rear. That car is very, very tail happy at the moment. But Sam Rose, there is very little he can do except spam ERS. Will Nikon be able to get past around the outside? We'll cut back to the inside. Dives down to the right-hand side of the track. Will not be able to get past. Sam Rose holds on. Uh, and in the meantime, at the top, it's Yosko who is now... Really close that to uh, Oscar. He will have to be arrested yeah. the next year. As I was about to say, actually, to be fair, Sada's confidence has taken a massive knock. Oscar really, he's really struggling after getting that three-second time penalty. Nikon with another massive moment coming out of turn number four there. He is really, really struggling with the rear of that car at the moment, and nearly understeers into the back of Sam Rose into turn yeah. six. Yeah, he, he just can't get the rear of the car. It's, it's He's having the same struggles as Daniel Ricciardo has. Sam Rose, I'm sorry to interrupt him, but Sam Rose with a big moment there. Nikon will hold it around the outside, but backs out of it. Sam Rose keeps third place. Nikon will try maybe to go the inside. It will be a risky move. He goes against it, but will try and get past Sam Rose on the front. The Brit just about holds on. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a three way battle there for P3 right now. And virtually, of course, it's. Oh, like massive him, but... moment for Nikon there. Oh, my word. He, he just, he probably would have been way ahead by now if he wouldn't have all those moments. Look at Makan as well. Makan has gotten very close. Uh, just a quick uh, shout out to the battle for the lead. Sada, or sorry, Oscar and Yasko Kirill are battling three tenths of a second, separating them. It doesn't look like Nikon's going to get past Samurai's coming down into turn four, nor Makan to get past Nikon. But Oscar's confidence has taken such a huge bashing. Yasko can almost taste victory at this stage. Contact made between Nikon and Sam Rose. They're coming down in towards turn number six. These two drivers getting very, very, very close for comfort at the moment. Nikon, of course, is racing in TRO with Sam Rose. These two know each other not maybe that well, but they are just starting to get warmed up to each other. Sam Rose has had a valiant defense. Nikon really struggling to get past, but he might well be able to. Coming down in towards turn number one. He's looking at four moves down the inside, but he's just a bit too far away there. He had the look, he but will. it was not enough, but right now he might just be able to get something done here. Well, Sam Rose blocked the inside, and he blocks it again. Nikon will be forced to go the long way around, gets past. 
Will Sam Rose be able to hold on to his slot on the podium? Just about. But here comes Makan, who has the better drive and will drag alongside Nikon. 4P4 gets past and might well have a chance of going after uh, Sam Rose III. Litwa has given himself a three-second time penalty for track limits warnings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think Sam Rose just a bit. Sam Rose just maybe some contact, but Sam Rose forced Nikon to take such a wide line that Mekan could easily provide there. Well, Maka and Nikon both having massive moments there at a turn six. The rears of these cars are really not happy as Yasko Kirill pits. And that's a big moment in this race. That's it. And Makan pits as well. Makan pits as well. It's Nikon running Nikon wide forced there. to take evasive action. Yeah, he forced to take evasive action, I think. Yeah. I think so Yasko Kirill will pit. I, think, I still think the pit entry here is a bit dangerous. Mm, definitely. Loads of collisions or almost collisions in cars running might do to it. Oh, shout out for Skyscap as well. Skyscap has had a very good recovery, partly due to cars pitting, but he is up to sixth place now for eight world championship points. Doing quite well at the moment. Nikon has got a little bit of a gap back to Sam Rose, but at the moment, Oscar is clear at the front of the pack. Yeah, that's for sure. And well, all, all Nikon has to do is just. Oh, he has to push hard now. We know he. Uh, of course wants to get a position but he also wants to stay ahead and not get undercut there by Mac and he basically has to try the overcut mm, which might not work very well mm. Sam Rose is holding him behind like Senna yeah. Mansell at Monaco in 92 Sam Rose made that car as wide as a bus this but evening I think but it hasn't helped yeah, I think both Sam Rose and Nikon will suffer from this by losing the position to Mac and for sure definitely yeah yeah uh, Makan, uh, we'll check on Makan in a moment as Nikon is getting very close to Sam Rose and maybe if Nikon gets past he has a small, very slender chance of staying in front of Makan getting so close to the Brit there getting very airy out of turn one again, really, really struggling with the rear of that car of course Makan is not on the soft he has decided to opt for the mediums Sam Rose remains in front somehow Oh, Skyscap and uh, Yasko Kirill are battling for P5, and Skyscap makes contact with Yasko. Bath Destroyer might be able to capitalize. We're going three wide down the back straight between Yasko, Bath Destroyer, and Skyscap. Sam Rose and Nikon battling for position as well. Yasko gets it to P5. Nikon can't get past Sam Rose, though. Oh, S Skyscap had a bit of a snap there in the exit of that corner. As in the meantime, I thought it's Nikon. Nikon's still close to. Sam Rose, but I don't think he'll get a move done anytime soon. I'd like to also point out that Artem is also in this battle, and Artem's done a very good job just pacing himself. Not really pushing the tires, but has yeah. done enough as Nikon pits. Nikon will pit. And Skyscape so also Sam Rose will... out. And Sky... Oh, Sky... Yeah, that's Skyscape interesting. almost crashes out there in the pit exit and entry. Does he think he's David, Does he think he's David Coulthard? I don't know. I'm not just, sure. He just run wide there on pit, pit entry. Just have to alert you there, Tim. What an exit from Yasko Kirill coming out of turn one. And he is in the prime position to get past Artem Lizov and be the next challenger to Sam Rose in the absolute bus he is driving. Yeah, Not it? a bus in how it handles, but a bus in how he's defending it. Yasko Kirill will go to the outside and will pick up Sam Rose's slipstream. And he might be able to pick the two of them off here. Sam Rose will have to go defensive, but Yasko Kirill dies down the inside. And it is an absolutely sensational move there. He's into second. And that's, they're just about, just about 2-3 to about 3-4 in one move. Yeah. Tim, I think that's the move of the season so far. That was that absolutely was incredible. That was sensational move. That is for sure. Uh, so Oscar Pitts, Oscar Pitts. So Yasko Kira will initiate the lead of the race should he stay out, which it looks like he is doing. Sam Rose will also stay out as well. Uh, Artem does look like he's pitting, and he will. So Yasko Kira will take the lead of the Austrian Grand Prix with 10 laps to go. As he gets the ball as lap as well. Slightly helped with DRS, of course. Did an amazing job here, that's for sure. Absolutely. Uh, Zomza has picked up a three second time penalty, four multiple warnings. In terms of stops, Yasko Kirill is on a two stopper, Sam Rose on a one stopper. Sam Rose is at the closest, I suppose, he's been for a very long time at grabbing that first win in a year. But Yasko has pulled out a two second lead in one lap. Absolutely incredible there. That's for sure. That's Artem just comes out ahead of Skyscape, but Skyscape should be getting the move done as his tires are warm. And I think he just does that. No, he doesn't. Artem just defends it, and he defends hard. 
I think not willing to give up the position there. Lucas Ibaida with a three second time Spets. penalty there for multiple warnings. The track limits penalty starting to pile up. Let's go. It's still Skyscape trying to get a move done on Artem here. Skyscape was down in P10 again because he pitted. Uh, just to interrupt there, Tim, uh, Oscar also has a great chance of getting past Bath Destroyer. Bath Destroyer has given up the place, though. Obviously not trying to fight Sada in the Europol there as uh, Oscar goes into P3. And now begins to hunt Sam Rose. Of course, Oscar has a massive uphill battle to try and win this race, but anything's possible in this league. Yeah, Nikon, who of course also pitted, now on the back of Zomsi there, with DRS, should get past, he's alongside. Down the inside, and he's ahead into turn one. Good move there. Dice Nikon. gets past Artem Lizov as well, but Artem Lizov will fight back. Both drivers on that soft compound tire, they got Domi in front of them, Artem has to run wide. And he's really out of sorts, because I think he hit uh, the sausage curb on the exit there. Guys, will try and chase down Domi now. Domi is having a decent enough race, yeah, but I mean, obviously is not quick enough to try and keep Skyscape behind. Yeah, I mean, Domi... Oh, what happened to Domi? What was massive, he doing there? Ma massive, massive, massive kick of oversteer there. Yeah, he just had a horrendous... Actually, he almost took out Skyscape there with a... Hit. Nearly, yeah. Yeah. He just got control right on the moments to avoid contact, I think. But that was close. Dramatic, certainly, this race. For sure. uh, also, Oscar. Oscar has absolutely bridged that gap to Sam Rose, yeah. and he is now towing him right down the front straight. Oscar on that medium compound tire. There's not much Sam Rose can read. Your contact made! And the TRL rival still battling for position and still making contact. But this time, Oscar will get past in the hunt for the lead. The chase is well and truly on. That is for sure. I mean, I'm not sure how old Jessica's tire is. Maybe you have an insight in that. Uh, I would like to check that actually. Uh, five laps five compared laps, to two. It's not. He's not got that much of an advantage of ties. It's just just go. It's Here comes absolutely. Artem on Skyscap. Championship rivals battling for position. Skyscap will be forced to cede eighth place for now. We'll have DRS though coming down in towards turn four. But Artem has got the perfect exit. It does look like Oscar is actually gaining quite a lot of time on Yasko. He has got seven laps to do this. But also has to pull out a three-second lead as well if he gets past. If he gets past, that's the massive thing here. Seven to go in Styria. Yeah, but well, the time has flown past here. Absolutely, yeah. It's been a very quick race. Not much happened. Not, not, yeah, of course we had a safety car and some contacts, mm. but not no massive amounts of safety cars or no. But still, you could jinx that as Zom Z will pit. Maybe that's for a faster lap attempt. But uh, Oscar, six and a bit seconds behind Yasko Kirill. And he is chasing, chasing, chasing him down. Trying to get into the lead on track. Would need a massive, massive bit of fortune if he wants to pull out three seconds, yeah. though. Look how far Sam Rose has fallen off the pace, though. Bath Destroyer is now in net P3 in the PHM car. Yeah, of course, only virtually, but... I don't think Sam Rose's tires can are too heavy with it. <laughs> no, definitely oh. not. He's uh, 21 laps on that hard compound tire, but Bath Destroyer as well is 22 laps on his hard compounds as well. Yeah, I mean, both drivers just going for the long, long time. I think they might just be both trying to take him to the end there. Mm, definitely, the field's separated by about 50 seconds at the moment. Give or take penalties, Yasko Kirill. Not close to lapping Super Sibide and Vic. But if they were to come together, then maybe he would lap them. Only hypotheticals, though. As uh, Oscar keeps closing the gap, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Five to go yeah, after. In the meantime, one. Marcus has been catching up to Bart Destroyer quickly. He has, yeah. And Nikon. Nikon. That's interesting. Marcus stayed ahead of Nikon with the pits of the G, but not by much, because Nikon is within a second behind him. Look at how much he's closed up in the braking zone. He's closed up nearly a second in one corner and has DRS and will use overtake. And it's getting very, very close to Bath Destroyer in the PHM car. Will choose against diving down the inside. Of course, Nikon is also in that battle, but would need to uh, have a little bit of fortune go his way. Of course, he's suffering with time penalties. Makan will try and get past Bath Destroyer. Won't get past into turn six, but might well have a go into seven. We'll go down the inside and we'll move into fourth place. And Nikon as well in turn on that soft compound tire will also go past Bath Destroy, it looks like, who doesn't put up much of a fight. Bath Destroy knows he's 
ha he has to pick his fight and he knows he if he stay so long fight fighting for too long he will ruin his tires totally and lose even more and we'll talk about picking fights and Nikon versus Makon is definitely the fight of the moment at the moment. We have a yellow flyer because Skyscap has spun. Skyscap has had a moment and Nikon will go past Makon. Bath Destroyer also in DRS and he might well go into fourth. Oh my word, what a move. But Nikon just about holds on and Bath Destroyer then is relegated yeah, to sixth because Bath it is I think very was... inferior tire wear. Yeah, Bath Destroyer had to, br had to break earlier than the others and that just got him out again but the, the idea about the move was great it just the tires the yeah. tires weren't there for him the tires were yeah obviously uh oscar has closed a lot of that gap to yasko but at this stage it does look like yasko would need to spin or crash or something uh, absolutely incredible to happen if yasko is going to choke the win of this race four laps to go yeah it's just come on yasko very much likely looking to get his win here as that would move him to 10 wins and the second most wins in the league. Bath Destroyer is really, really struggling on those hard compound tire and Makan is also struggling to get past Nikon and Nikon in turn trying to get past Sam Rose. We have a yellow flag for uh, Super Subida and he has spun and he might well be lapped now, but this maybe could bring out a safety car if he stays stationary for too long. Probably not. We have gone to green flags though. Meantime, Nikon Nico, will not get past Sam Rose. Yeah, Nikon again on the back of Sam Rose here. And I think there's, of course, we've got the time penalties. But Mackin just, oh, he's closing it a little bit. It doesn't seem to be. Nikon dives change. down the inside. Contact made. Sorry to interrupt him. Sam Rose is holding on. But his fight has now well and truly ended. Or has it? Sam Rose right back into third place. He is defending like a bus. Nikon makes contact with him again. And is forced out into the gravel. And Sam Rose is a bit dirty. But he just about holds on for third. In the meantime, Mackin in the DRS as well now. Yeah, he he's also in this that. battle. It, look he, at that. He'd be a net P3 at the moment. Oscar catching up rather quickly there, but... I mean, it's one of, almost a second over one lap time, but it's not enough, Absolutely, is it? Absolutely, yeah. Well, Nikon will go to the inside, coming down in towards turn one. We'll have DRS for turn three. Contact made between him and Sam Rose. <laughs> Sam Rose, Sam Rose will reciprocate wide. the favour. Some Rose, Rose wide runs wide. He's, he's losing back on. As Super Zapita getting left. Oh, contact made there between Nikon and Makan. My fault. A bit worse than it did. Nikon just about holds on. Makan will yeah. have DRS coming down in towards turn number four. Will try to go to the inside. Does back out of it, but Sam Rose does not. He goes up the inside. Contact made and they're around. That's and that's, I fear was utterly predictable and Makan has stopped in the middle of the track and that's ruined both the end of his race and Sam Rose's yeah. an utterly predictable incident but Nikon yeah. has just about secured P3 here yeah that's oh, of course he's got a time penalty so virtually it's about destroying P3 well Bath Destroyer will have to put together the, the best two laps of his entire career well, as Nikon only yeah, wants to get in a few yeah, more tents but that's of course on track off track with time penalties he's got Bet the straight has got P3. Nikon needs to gain three seconds in two laps yeah. in order to get into onto the podium, which is a tall order, but given the Bath Destroyer is on clinically depressed hards, yeah, I suppose you can say, it might well happen. Yeah, of course, and uh, he will also have, uh, yeah, two laps to Oscar, go. Oscar's not going to get shot or not. No. That's certain. I don't think, I, I don't think. So yeah. Rose is bidding for a new front wing and that's just, that's his race gone. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Of course, Sam Rose was on the podium a few laps prior, but now because of a reckless move that I suppose uh, sort of epitomizes what he's become. A reckless racer who has the potential to win, but just can't seem to put it all together. White flag for Yasko Kirill on for his 10th win in this league. Our season two champion on to become the third different winner in three races so far in season four of Next Gen by JL. Yellow flag for uh, Vic who has spun and is stuck, but will just about get back on track. As uh, I believe that's uh, Sam Rose has gone past for 12th position. Yeah. Uh, Bath Destroyer's Bath out! Bath Destroyer's out! He's crashing through the wall and that's. Oh, that's oh wow! And Backhand nearly goes into him and Skyscap will have to avoid him. Skyscap does. It, it, and I'm not sure position. what's happened. He, 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 he yeah. went through the wall hard there. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's done that, but he is uh, 
His car has disappeared now from the track, so that will not be a problem for anyone else. But at the moment, Yas and Nikon, enjoying a Nikon victory lap that has been well and truly deserved. And Nikon will get the podium with that because he's, he's, he will. he's lapping quicker than uh, Artem here. Well, Flexi won in Qatar, Sky Scap won last week in Japan, and now Yasko Kirill is going to win his 10th win in this league and is going to become the third different winner in three races. It's been a simply sensational performance from our Season 2 champion, and it's glory, glory, Yasko Kirill, as he wins the third race of the season in Austria. Oscar will come home in second place in the Europol. Nikon will, thankfully for him, relief for him as well, finish in third place. Yeah, Artem Lizov in Bob fourth. Bob but what a race, Tim. What a race for sure, it was incredible to see. And Nikon gets another penalty just before he crosses the line oh, that, that. and will cede third place because of it. Artem will finish on the podium and Nikon is absolutely livid, presumably. Artem just about gets on the podium. Mekin, of course, B5 here. Skyscap still still B6. Yeah. It was his spin oh, 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 he spun! And maybe Litwa he's, will be able to get past. Skyscap is reversing to the line. Oh my good God. And Litwa and Razos have gone past. Of course, Litwa did suffer a time penalty. Yeah, but and I'm, Sky not, I'm not sure if the FAA... Just look, at that, look at look at he's turning up. I'm not sure the FAA... Well, his will, AI is turning it. Yeah, but I'm not sure the FAA will be too fond of him reverse driving there. No. Oh my God. What a dramatic end to the race that was. That but a brilliant crazy. Austrian Grand Prix, Tim. Arsene yeah, is not the driver of the day. According to the game, at least it was a race. Oh. Yasko Kirill is our third different winner in three races so far this season, and our season two champion strutting onto the podium and certainly celebrating his dominance. After 43 minutes, 8 seconds, and 2 tenths of a second, Yasko Kirill comes home from 6th to 1st to win this Grand Prix. Sada in second in the Europol, Artem Lizov rounding out the podium. Nikon in fourth, that cruel penalty at the end. He didn't have to push, but he did, and he ruined his chances of finishing on the podium because of it. Makan started fifth, will finish fifth. Raz out from 16th to 6th, an incredible drive from him. Geiskap started on pole position, had a pretty much a damage imitation race, finishing in seventh. Lit with Domi and Sam Rose rounding out the top 10. Sam Rose did get the fastest lap at the end there, so an important point for him. Zomzed Vic. Super Supida and Bath Destroy round out the field. Our two retirements, Alexander Delnick and Kajuba. The Ben Buxton Supermarket Sweep Shopper of the Week, or whatever it's called. We'll, we'll let him pronounce it. We'll let him say it. That award goes to Kajuba, who's... Uh, uh, no, it doesn't go to Kajuba. Sorry, it goes to Domi, who said a woman at 8.446. But Tim, give us your thoughts on that one. It was. It was a crazy race, that's for sure. Loads of stuff happening during the race. Yeah. Utterly brilliant, I think. The opening three races of this campaign have been an absolute treat. Five to go after this one, of course. Yeah. Did Sam Rose ever send me that? Actually, no. I, I think Sam Rose is alluding not to him sending me something. But, but scoring, he was alluding to actually finishing P9. So P he was P wrong about that. He yeah. P10. But to be fair, P9 scores two points and he got two points. So yeah. it's not too bad after all. Okay. Congratulations to Sam Rose. Hell of a race though, Tim. Yeah, that's for sure. Lots of shit happening there. As I just realized that the full stats of the circuit did not, the full statistics measuring for some reason didn't turn on, so I hope the race results will be able to put in manually okay. Yeah. But that's kind of shit that the that the racing league tools just didn't turn on. Yeah. Um. Look, an incredible race. The debrief starts now. We're going to go back to stage and we're going to interview any drivers who are willing to participate. We'll be back in just a second.
Yeah, I would think for yeah, the race. That's for sure. That's for sure. Uh, look, we're going to get the post-race interview underway, and we're going to start out by talking to Bath Destroyer, I think, is a good way to start, wouldn't it be, Tim? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, down in 14th place. Yeah, crushing out Lee. Yeah, so. Hello? Oh, man. Uh, honestly, terrible end to the race for you, but just talk about us. What happened? Oh, uh, well, in simple terms, uh, I, visked it f I visked it for the biscuit, and I did not receive the biscuit there. Um, I was down in P7, um, saw everyone was boxing onto new tires from the hards. Um, I felt that um, just to make the race more exciting for myself, I might as well stay out, try and get a better result and risk it. Um... um and um, I was with P th with the penalties. I was going to be P three, and then um, I got a puncture entering the on the straight before the penultimate corner on the penultimate lap, and um, I just lost control and um, hit the wall. Could it have been a better result? Do you think you should have pisses in hindsight? Mm, no, I, I, I feel fine, to be honest. Uh, I don't regret my decision. Um, sometimes you just got to go for it, and today was one of those days, and yeah, it's unfortunate what happened, but I can bounce back, and I have the pace to be, in that, to be best of the rest outside that top four, top three. Um, yeah, um, it was also annoying early on with the tap from Nick on sending me round, but um, I feel like I was going to go round anyway, even if he didn't hit me, because I was locking my viz into turn one anyway. Thank you very much, Bath Destroyer, and we'll look forward to hopefully seeing you in Monza next week. Yeah, thank you. See ya. Uh, we'll get a quick word with Razos. Hello there. Congratulations, Razos. 16th to 6th, a very good performance. But in the end, uh, a little bit of controversy involving your teammate. Were you in a voice chat with him? Did What happened? Oh, I didn't know that it was my teammate. I, I must have got confusion. But, um, yeah, I, I should go apologise to him for that. Yeah, an incredible race by your standards. Yeah, you had a dismal qualifying. What really happened in that 18 minute session? Pardon oh, me, sorry? What happened in qualifying that saw you start down in 16th? Um, I think my setup is really based on the race setup, so um, I don't really do quality setup, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I don't blame you, to be honest. But look, an incredible recovery drive. Looking forward to Monza next week. Do you think you'll be able to, uh, if you do race, that is, because, of course, Marcel should be back next weekend. But uh, if you do race next week at Monza, what do you think you'll be able to do? Um, back off on the first turn. <laughs> Yeah, and don't get taken out. That that's great. That's great advice, isn't it, Tim? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much, Razos. Uh, decent result for you today, and we'll hopefully see you in the future very soon. Yeah, I hope yeah. to chat with you soon. That was Razos. Vic. Yeah, Vic will be joining us on stage next, hopefully. Good evening, Vic. Good evening. Uh, 15 for the grid, ended up finishing 12, but do you think it could have been better tonight? Of course. Of course, if uh, somebody, who we will not uh, mention currently, didn't put his nose where it didn't belong, you know, maybe... Uh, I mean, he knew that it was my corner, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to sound like I want to cry about it or anything, but I'm just saying the facts, like... He knew that it was going to end up like that, and he still went on with it. Then in the chat, he's, he starts blaming me for it, says uh, stuff like, congrats on ruining our race. And yeah, and I, I just think that uh, it's really unfair.
unfortunate because Kai's cap and all those big big names in the league uh, screwed up their race in the in the beginning. So maybe I had a chance for maybe like P three, two, maybe even P one. Mons the next week. Oh, sorry. Continue. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. I mean, okay, okay, thank, it thank you. Um, feels good to be back. And uh, yeah, just a mix of happiness, uh, disappointment, sadness, and adrenaline. Can't wait to do it again next week. <laughs> well, it is Mons next week. What do you think you'll be able to do? Uh, I think I'll do good. And my only goal is to survive the first couple of laps. And it's funny saying that because for this race, I said that I didn't want to fuck up that one si single turn in sector two, which I ended up fucking yeah. up. So yeah, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Thank you very much, Vic. Thank you for having me. Let's get our final word now from Artin Lizoff. Tim's gone. Oh, Tim's back. What happened there, Tim? Uh, Discord. Okay, right, we'll get a word with Artin Lizoff then. Hello, hello. Artin, an absolutely incredible recovery drive from 11th to finish 3rd. Talk about the race. What exactly happened for you tonight? Uh, so, uh, Austria is not my very good track, and uh, as I expected, I felt the qualification at the start. I fell to like P14 or something like that, but uh, I got just lucky because uh, somewhere people crashed, somewhere I just uh, used the, the res uh, tactic when I just didn't use ERS. Um, when I pitted at the first safety car for the hearts, I thought it would be a mistake, but, um, and after I pitted for the softs at uh, closer to the end and, uh, yeah, I thought it would be my, like my failure tactic, but when I just, when I, I see that people who hadn't boxed, uh, for the second time, uh, they start to like slide, they start to get to the crashes. I just found out that I'm very lucky and um, the most scariest moment was when uh, after the like two moments when at the short the red zone at the third one I passed the turn and I just see two cars that were like like a wall and there is a small hole between them it was like between weak Vic and somebody like and I just passed through them and uh, last moment when I thought it would be the end is when uh, I, I'm i following, uh, I don't remember his name. Uh, ah, yeah, Bath Destroyer uh, at the lap 35. And he just starts to, I don't know, maybe he had a punch or something, but he started to like going to the left, to the right. And I thought that he will just uh, hit me. I went onto the grass I started to drift and but likely I just catch the car and uh, went to the, on the on the podium and uh, like I was before and the gap between me and uh, Nikon was around six or seven seconds and he had the time penalty of six seconds and I like yeah it was nice but it's impossible for the podium I dream too much and like I didn't even notice I pass. I th I thought I'm I'm P P4, but I see P3, and I just noticed that Nikon had uh, another three seconds time penalty, so it's probably my the smoothest operation in my life. <laughs> thank you very much, Charlton. <sighs> yeah, thank you too, Storm. Right then, Tim. I think that's it for this week. I think that about is it. Yeah. It's actually quite sad to say good night, I suppose, because that was a fantastic race, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great race. Uh, Tim, thank you very much for joining me this evening. And obviously, I suppose, um, to Ben as well, for being there. Of course, computer said no for him. But hopefully, Tim will be back this time, same place, next week. It is the Italian Grand Prix next time out at the Temple of Speed at Monza. But after a brilliant 
third race of the season in Austria. We have crowned our third winner as Jasko Kirill comes home to win this race. We have had three winners in three races this season, and the Sky Cup suffered a big dent towards his championship aspirations tonight. As I said earlier on, this title race is anyone's game, and it certainly has proved to be so tonight. An absolutely incredible race. Congratulations to Jasko Kirill, and we will see you same time, same place in Monza next weekend. From Tim, Ben, and myself, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye from us. Good night.